class. Okay, we talked on our group 14 elements. Who can you tell me some group 14 elements? Yes, Joseline. Lead and silicon. Lead and silicon. Another? Richard. Carbon. Carbon. Another? Yes. Tin. Okay, we talked on lead, tin, germanium, silicon. Uh, Richard. Carbon. Uh, carbon. Eh? Okay. Thank you. Um, those 14 elements. Who can tell me? The ions you can identify in that group. Lead ions. Mm -hmm. Lead ion, ions. Other ions you can identify. Yes, uh, Shimwe. Carbonate ions. Carbonate. Ions. Carbonate ions. Another ion. Yes, Mushabe. Hydrogen carbonate ion. Hydrogen carbonate ions. Another. Yes. Tin ion. Tin ion ions. Okay, thank you. Uh, in the group, uh, uh, 16 elements, which ion you can identify? Eugene? We can identify sulfate ions. Other ions you can identify? Uh, what to say? Also, you can also identify sulfate ions. You also identify sulfate ion? ions. Today our lesson is the identification of iron ions. Those ions exist. Now we are going just to look how we can identify them from their solu their solutions. Uh, now I want someone uh, to read for us the objective of our lesson. Alian. By the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to identify the ions from the provided solutions and share the observations made. Thank you. Uh, now we have just to leave this class knowing how to identify uh, those ions. See, you list, there are those ones. Uh, now we are going just to be in the four group groups. Uh, in those four groups, we are going, uh, you have the solutions which are provided and you have other solutions which are here. And then there are some solutions you, have, you will have on, in your group and what you don't have, you are going just to take it from, from here. Which means that I want, you are going just to pick someone in the group and then you will come, you take the solution and then we are going just to uh, follow the procedures in, in a group. You are not going to stay online like that. You, uh -huh. you come this here and then you come in this group. You are going just to sit in a kind of, uh, a kind of circle. Some uh, may be like those two, you come here, you are going just to, because you, what you are going to do, you are going just to share. You come here and then you sit Maybe I can say face by face. You also you come, and then you are going just to sit looking at them like Mushabe also you come. Uh, solution A, yes. You follow the instructions. Yeah. Yes, you are going just to get after doing um, after following the instructions. You are going to maybe to conclude. This is it. Uh, maybe I and e, one of those four ions you have yes. just read that right. You try to be fast as possible. If you finish for solution A, you come, you pick solution E, solution B. You try just to be fast as possible. What did you observe after putting sodium uh, hydrochloric acid? Hmm? 
bubbles. Yes, you have just read to all the observation you have. Because through those observations, they are going to help you to make a conclusion. You can put them, if you finish with solution, you can just put them aside. We, in that, even if those tests to be report, you can just put them in that solution. Or this solution, you finish? For all the observations? Okay, now you can use this one, this speaker, to put the test to be already used. You put them. When you add uh, hydrochloric acid, what did you observe? <coughs> bubbles. You write bubbles, you observe bubbles. Only that. Another proceed for another one. Some drops. What did you observe? Solution C. Okay, you go. Others? You come for solution C. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second test tube, did you put? You have to be fast as possible. Because we have, we must share what we get. I want others to come to pick solution D. Okay, in three minutes, the first group is going just to present for what they did. Please, write the last conclusion. Fine, fine, fine. Stop, please. I invite the first group. Please, the first group, the second group, the third group, and the fourth group. Yes, the first group, uh, you choose someone, you come, and then you tell us what you did in, uh, for solution A, and then which iron you identify in solution A, A. You come and then you share with us. Someone, and then let us share. If you want just to use uh, the procedures, no. but we want the conclusion. Eh? In our group, we took uh, uh, solution A. We added a few drops of hydrochloric acid, and we observed bubbles. And, and then we took another test, test tube. We added magnesium sulfate, and there is no change. So in conclusion, in our group, we observed that solution A contains hydrogen carbonate ions because we saw that hydrogen carbonate ions to set, to test it we add mag magnesium sulfate and there is no change uh, okay thank you it was just for uh, you tell us about solution a others you observe the same yes okay thank you in solution a uh, solution a contain hydrogen carbonate ion Ions, because when you take hydrogen carbonate ions, you add hydrochloric acid, you must observe the bubbles. Why, uh, why we observe the bubbles? Those bubbles, they come from where? Those bubbles, they indicate the production of what? Uh, hydrogen carbonate, you add hydrochloric acid, you observe which gas is produced? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide? Dioxide, it is why we have those bubble, bubbles. When you add uh, magnesium sulfate, because we know that hydrogen, uh, hydrogen carbonate of group 2, they are soluble in water, they exist in the solu solution. It is why we don't have any change. Okay, thank you. Uh, I invite group 2.
to come and then to share with us. So in our group, we tasted, uh, we added dilute hydrochloric acid, onion B in a solution, and there were no observable change. But when we added it to the sec when we added magnesium sulfate to onion B, uh, there was a formation of a white precipitate. And what we always know that the ion that forms a white precipitate with uh, magnesium sulfate is the carbonate ion. So in our conclusion, we found that carbonate ions were present in the solution. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the solution B contains carbonate ions. Uh, Z, we add uh, magnesium sulfate. Uh, when you add hydrochloric acid, what did you observe? Other groups, when you add hydrochloric acid on solution B, what did you observe? Bubbles. Bubbles, yes, you observe ba? bubbles. Bubbles, what did they indicate again? Carbon dioxide. Yes, carbon dioxide. But when you put uh, magnesium sulfate, you observe a white play? Precipitate. Precipitate. Thank you. This it is an indication eh, of carbonate ions. ions. I invite group three to share with us about uh, our solution C. Uh, for, for my group of group three, we first of all we had two test tubes. Uh, and we got sodium hydroxide, we put it in test tube 1, and then the test tube 1 contained the solution C, and we got the, we got the white precipitate which dissolves in excess. And then by addition of potassium iodide in test tube B, uh, we got a bright yellow precipitate which confirms the presence of potassium uh, which confirms the presence of lead iodide which ion eh? lead ions lead ion ions which lead two or lead four lead two lead two ion ions other groups you find the same yes thank you then i invite group four to share with us what today observe and what they identify. For us we have one test tube. Uh, first we, we took one test tube and we add a solution containing uh, magnesium sulfate. So we observe the white the white precipitate and then we also added hydrochloric acid to that to 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 that solution we we observed before and we saw that there is there was no change and this tells us that there was the presence of sulfate ions in our identifications. So thank you. Uh -huh, thank you. Others, you observe the same? Yes. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the work you did. Continue like that. Uh, we had learned about the identifications of ions in group 14 and group 16. Uh, the importance of the identification of ions that can be used to identify ions in water, so to find out if it's safe for drinking or for use. And at times, identification of ions is used in standardization organizations, like to um, to see if the pro product made is safe for use. Uh, today, we learned the identification of ions. We know that chemistry is used in our daily life, and it is there in the food we eat and everything. So, uh, uh, the the importance I can say is that in. Uh, our body needs some ions in order to, to work uh, minerals. So, for example, the lead ion, it, uh, the, some ions are needed in our body in order to work efficiently. So, uh, when, when a person is sick from, from a disease and needs food which contains this ion, uh, the food must, must be tested in order to see if it contains the ions that he needs. All in medicines, in medicines there is uh, mixing the chemicals. To, to produce medicines which, uh, which we need to, to cure diseases. So when we identify 
the, the ions in, the, in that medicine, we see that there is no ions which are toxic or which can cause harm to our body. So chemistry, identification of ions helps in daily life to see the food we eat, uh, what it contains, what it, the importance it has to our body. Thank you. I bring them here to identify uh, some ions which contain in uh, group 14 elements and group 16 element, elements. The elements, uh, atoms, we need them in everyday life, but we need to know how to identify the, them. As the student, they say, we use them in chemicals, in food, and so, and so on. And then uh, to identify them, first of all, I prepare solutions, I provide them to students uh, in order to save time because in 40 minutes it could not be possible to leave the student to prepare themselves for uh, uh, solutions. And then I prepare on machine uh, procedures to be followed. Okay, I form groups also, uh, mixing girls and, bo and boys, and then after I give them what they will need to identify the ions, I prepare solutions containing the ions I want to test and then uh, uh, the students, they were supposed to follow the instructions I give in order to identify those ions. It is what uh, they did and then they found what I was supposed to just to, uh, what it was supposed to be found in each ion, in each solution which is, was provided to them.